TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, November, part, part one, part uno, because we're what we're going to do here is we're going to get out of the deck of uno cards and we're going to play uno for your delight here. No, absolutely not. But this guy is going to Kansas City to see the Swifties, so we're not going to have him next week, and then I'm going to be recording with Slay J next week, so we're going to cover a little bit more stuff. Some of the same stuff, but mostly different stuff. So you get a good variety, and then some stuff's going to coincide as well. But we're going, what we're going to be covering this podcast is going to be Gen V... Doom Patrol Season 4, Part 2, the uh, Attack on Titan, the finale, and just in general the full review, because this guy has a wonderful review, and I love it. Uh, the Marvels, we're going to go more in-depth. Of course, we have our reviews out there, but we're going to go more in-depth on this one. Uh, Loki Season 2, going to be more in-depth than my little quick uh, TikToks, which I still have one more left, but it'll be out before this is out for sure. All right, sir, we're going to roll into AOT. Well, it's the, the season finale, the, the final episode, the final, final. The I don't final, know. final, final, final season. <laughs> really, they named it something crazy. And I, I love the final. It's It had been a while since the previous thing that I had watched, which was called something similar that was crazy. The but final I was season su- part two or part two? Yeah, three, I think it was part, part one like and this was part two. I don't know, but no, I was sucked in. Part two already happened. Yeah. And they had this was like another... This is the final, 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 final. final. And yeah. so I was sucked in, dude. I, it was so good. I loved it. it. It was kind of a depressing... Like, it was an awesome ending, but it was... it was it, and it, Man, it would, I, so I was emotionally all over the place with it. Uh, it was kind of all over the place itself at times. Yeah. Uh, it was almost too much packed into one thing, it felt like. But in the ending was really depressing. Yeah. And I've been reading the manga, and I'm not I'm not finished yet. I'll do a full-blown like manga Attack on Titan review probably on TikTok, maybe on here. We'll see. But this is probably going to be our definitive review right here. But overall, how do you feel about Attack on Titan? Because I feel like uh. you have the best review of it. It's good, but I can't, like, when people ask me a good anime, this this anime just doesn't leave my mouth most <laughs> of the time. And I enjoy watching it, but at the same time, it's a frustration when you're watching it without reading the manga. Mm-hmm. Because basically, every new season, you're asking yourself, where the hell are we? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Because they just do time jumps and they skip content that you can tell has been skipped. Right. Because, like, you're like, whoa, weren't they just doing this? Why are we doing this now? I mean, they did have something like that in the manga, but there is, in reading the manga, there are chunks and time skips in the anime where you're like, yeah, exactly like you said. It's 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 confusing. Kinda, where if kinda. you if you read it in tandem with the manga, it it's good, but you're better off like the visuals cannot be visually this cannot be competed with. I feel like the the combat at least, right? Like the way yeah. that they transfer the combat from page to screen, phenomenal, mind blowing, superb. But that store but since it's not consistent, and I know they cut out the slow stuff. I love the slow stuff, specifically in this in this manga, in Attack on Titan, and I feel like that's a huge mistake. But, like you said, I, I can't... It's one of those things where I go like, well, the first few seasons are really great, but then after it kind of it gets confusing, and, and at that point you have to read the manga, or you're better off reading the manga with it in tandem, then it's worth it. Yeah, like, uh, like for example, when I watched the... Uh, I think it was the end... And then maybe season three, I think it was, when you got revealed, when you got the whole Marnie revealed and they got to the coastline. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly they're in Marnie attacking in the new season. Yeah. And then they did some flashbacks, but still there's like a pretty huge gap there where you're having to like watch it just to try to figure out the logistics instead of just being able to enjoy the show. It's still confusing even in the manga though. Like that I, I just feel like that's kinda also like a, a fault of the writing. 
period. Because they're, it, the, it does a similar thing where they're at the coast, and then boom, it starts with this, uh, with the with the Eldian Empire, yeah, or the Eldian Marleans, and uh, and so that's confusing. And you're like, who are these people? I don't care. Why should I care? Why if they're dying and risking their lives? And uh, so it's it's really not different. But there's way there is way more in the manga. That's why with this show, I would say read the manga for first or read it in tandem with the show. If you're going to watch the show, like I said, the first few seasons, phenomenal. Overall, I loved it, but you have to read the manga because as a person who I read up to a certain point and then I watched the show and stopped reading the manga and then through the confusion of the show, I was like, I need to read the manga. And then now as I'm reading the manga, I'm going, okay, things are way better and more clear in the manga and make it way better. It's weird because there's certain medias where they go... It makes you want to read the manga. This makes you want to read a ba- manga in the bad way, right? Like you shouldn't feel like you have to to understand, and that's when you're going to lose people. And I'm sure it has lost people. And that's why it's hard to like. I want to give it as a fan. I want to give it a strong must see, but I just can't. Like it, I feel like it falls on like a week. Uh, watch it if you have time. Watch it. Like if you're a fan, it's a must see. Yeah. If, if you've been following it, it's a must-see. You have to finish it. It's superb. Uh, I, like I said, as a manga, it's been pretty superb. So at least follow the manga if you're going to do that. So that's how I feel about that. Weak. It's, it's a weak uh, stream. Weak stream. Yeah, weak stream. If, you, if you're not, especially if you're not like already into it. 